Tomislav Kaludovic from Autodesk Australia and welcome to the next video in my series of doing a planned project inside the AEC collections. Um, over the last few weeks or so we've been doing some PNIDs, we've done some equipment modelling, uh, we've done a little bit of piping and now we're going to look at uh, exporting some of the structure that we've created inside Plant 3D. So I've got a couple uh, models here. I've got a, a, a pipe rack. Um, again, that's, that's quite a large model that we're going to look at importing uh, into Advanced Steel. Uh, and also I've got one of my little Area 01 models uh, that we can import as well. So the workflow is really quite simple. Uh, under the structure tab inside Plant 3D, there's a button here called Advanced Steel XML Export. So we click on that. Uh, I'm going to put it on my desktop. So I'm going to call this 01STR-1000 and put AS after it as Advanced Steel. Select objects. Now I'm just going to type in all uh, and it will just filter out whatever it needs. Uh, and then we click on export. So what that's going to do is uh, write the XML file uh, to our desktop and you can see the progress bar down the bottom right there. So that's all done. Inside Advanced Steel, again, just as easy. So we go to the import and export tab here. There's a couple buttons you can use. Um, so there's the import from Revit, which is again, just the same uh, XMLX file. Uh, or you can do advanced import under here. So I'm just going to select the file off my desktop. Now, if you need, if it finds an issue with the profile that it's come from and where it's going to, uh, you will get this mapping. Now I know this U200 by 200 is the steps uh, inside Plant 3D, so I'm just going to ignore it. Again, ignore, ignore, Okay, now we've got one, a 200UB 29.8, so it hasn't been mapped to anything. So the Australian UB and 200UB 29.8, and go OK. So same thing, 410UB 59.7, go OK. 150UC 37.2, and go OK. Same thing for this 310 UC 158. And that's it. So now if I do a zoom extents, we have my plant structure inside Advanced Steel. Okay, now just to show you about the mapping, so I'm just going to do a second drawing and do the exact same import. So because I ignored the U200s, I'm going to ignore them again. But you see it hasn't asked me for the UBs or the UCs again because I've already had them mapped. So once you've done it once, you should be fine. So obviously with this, uh, I'm just going to turn on my view cube. It's brought in the handrails, the ladders. Uh, I don't need or want them because obviously we have uh, handrails and ladders functionality inside uh, Advanced Steel anyway. So just again, just as a matter of tidying up the file. I'm going to delete some of these objects, the kick plates. Uh, don't want that. So just getting rid of some of these ladder components. Because again, I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to use the macro uh, for. Uh, the ladders and stairs inside uh, advanced steel. So if it's just a realistic then you can see all of the detail is brought in. So again, I'm, I can spend some time now just going through and cleaning these things up. Uh, and then um, we can have a look at bringing that back into uh, Plant 3D at a later date. Now if you're interested, I'm going to do the same thing with uh, this pipe rack model. So it's quite large. Advanced steel export. So this is O1, uh, this is double zero, STR1000 underscore AS. Select objects, all, so 2017 objects. So this one might take a while to write. 
but again I don't see uh, any reason why this wouldn't import as well and then uh, you could get someone on the project again someone who would be concentrating on the, the structural modeling and detailing of the pipe rack and then again with the 01 file here as well you might have someone dedicated to the 01 uh, which is this, this sort of bottom corner down here obviously this isn't fully populated I know there's a little bit more structure over here to the right hand side and I know there's a lot more structure out here as well so for the keen-eyed people watching uh, you might notice that this is essentially the uh, sample um, project inside Plant 3D so all I've done is just turn around uh, and basically metricized it I think for want of a better word I just turned it into uh, metric uh, elements and I've put it in the positive X and Y values I think from from memory the default sample one sits sort of about halfway along this line here so there is some values that are in negative um, which I'm personally not too keen on uh, so all I've done is just move it and again I've adjusted it so that the coordinates are uh, sort of whole numbers um, not some weird random conversion of imperial to metric so it looks like that's almost done you can see the time difference that it took between the original that smaller area one file to this area zero zero file which is the pipe rack and we're pretty much done so back inside advanced steel export import I'm going to import it zero zero now again we have a couple queries here so 250 UC 89.5 I'm going to ignore that one. 200 UC 59.5 PFCs. So under the, they won't be under I sections, obviously. So they'll be under channels. So Australian channel or Australian PFC. So we're looking for the 150. Go OK. Go back to I sections. UCs 100 UC 14.8 so you can see the import status down the bottom right once we've set up that one mapping we're not going to need to do it again if I zoom extents then there is my plant structure with the grids obviously if I switch to realistic mode then you'll be able to see uh, a lot more information here so I'm going to go through this in, in later videos we're going to have a look at uh, you know detailing the, the corners the connections uh, all of that kind of stuff but you can see here I now have uh, two of my uh, plant structural models inside advanced steel and then we're going to look at um, bringing those into plant 3d in next week's video thanks a lot